John uh, with some of the things, challenges he's had is, you know, his behavior from his prior school, he thought that when he came here that we were going to, um, you know, judge him. A lot of students come to our schools and think that, you know, their file follows them where it does. But one thing about our schools is we know each student comes in with a clean slate. Um, so I think that once he was able to adjust and realize that we gave him a clean slate and John Sweet starts from, you know, lane zero once he comes to Excel Academy at South Shore, he was able to really adjust. In the beginning of the program, like getting used to discipline wise, uh, like first of all, like going to the bathroom and walking the lines. I ain't did that since elementary school. So like, I guess the, like second day I came to school, I tried to uh, just, I just walked out the classroom, and Streeter, he just like he came in my face like real like, it went a disrespectful way, but he was telling me that I can't do that, and I just I didn't I didn't like it because I'm not used to it, and so it just took a long time to get adjusted to stuff like that and to be quiet all the time, and yeah, it took it took time to get used to that. My grandma is probably one of the strongest motivations to finish my education because she's 94, so you never know. She don't got much time left, so that's just my motivation. I want her to, in her lifetime, to see me do good, be proud of me, to make her proud. Tori is always out front leading, um, whether if it's um, making a confrontation, whether if it's giving a helping hand, she's always out front in some way, shape, form, or fashion, leading our students on a positive path. Uh, to you know, stay motivated, to stay focused on, regardless of whatever it is, you can always count on Tori to be there, leading in some way, shape, form, or fashion. The staff, they're making their business to know what you got going on. So, like, before I came here, I just thought like this was full of a bunch of bad people because I came from Simeon, so I just I'm bougie, so I'm just thinking that people, I don't know, I don't know, they're not bad people. At all. When I see my students get up there, when I see the look in their faces where they know that they've accomplished something, that they've succeeded at something, that means a lot to me and it reminds me that this is why I do what I do. Um, throughout the year, I may have a student say something to me, you know, Miss Carter, I love you. Or a teacher, you know, Miss Carter, thank you for that support. That is, that is the fuel that I need to keep going. And to also make sure that I'm giving them the fuel that they need. Um, it, it's a two-way street. I need them, they need me. In a sense, I guess for a selfish moment, it's bittersweet because you have seen these students blossom into who they are, turning into young adults, and you know that uh, there's greatness waiting for them on the other side, but it's also a situation of you know that you're going to lose two great young people um, who've impacted your school pretty much forever. It's very, very gratifying. Um, I won't just speak on behalf of myself, I must speak on behalf of the other educators in my building as well with other educators um, that work across the city at our Camelot schools. It's very, very gratifying just understanding the different uh, stigmas that are placed on our students as alternative students or option students as we like to call them. Um, you know, at times the media tries to portray our students as, you know, lost causes or in a sense discrepancies that may not even be able to adjust or, you know, follow the norms in society. So one thing that we like to do here at Excel Academy at South Shore is we're trying to break that stigma. We are trying our best to make sure our students are able to show everyone, not just themselves, not just their family, to show everyone that they are they are able to cope in society. They are able to graduate and um, be not, not just cope in society, be excellent members of society and um, be able to do their thing and reach their goals and endeavors. A lot of people told me that I wasn't gonna graduate, that I wasn't going to go even go back to school, and now that I'm actually graduating, I feel like can't nobody tell me nothing now. I'm going to do everything you told me I can't do. Every day we live, yeah. you can't tell me, yeah. remember I was broke, yeah. now I'm getting rich. Yeah. Yeah, when you down and colder than a boot, then you know you lit, when you quit, you take a then you know you lit. Every day we lit. Yeah. Every day we lit. Yeah. Every day we lit. Yeah. Every day we lit.